Sing. God of choosing us as prayer, He has us prayer, He has us prayer, He has. Oh my God of choosing us as prayer, He has us prayer, He has us prayer, He has us prayer. She's in praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Ifoma Chosen. I reside at 24 OCOKK Satellite Town, Lagos. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I joined Chosen October, the month of Occupied Till I Come, 2008, back in Kanu. And presently, I'm here in Lagos. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This God of Chosen is too much amen in fact the bible says test and see that the lord is good mm. blessed is the man that trusted in him that's right i have tested I have, every day of my life is testimony amen i just thank god for the privilege he has given me to be among the chosen ones shall we clap unto god and appreciate him <laughs> we are really privileged to be among the chosen Choose and praise the lord hallelujah I have to refresh the previous testimony that shocked me before the present one I want to give now. Okay. Um, 30th of December, we, I was with my family, we were praying. All of a sudden, my second daughter started checking, checking the next day. He slumped down and died immediately. Why, why we are praying? So we started praying. I said, I cried unto God. The girl has already died already. Steve already. My senior daughter that is reading, she's in medical school now. So she said, she started crying. All of us, we were praying. Some of my junior children was like, what is wrong with miracle? So at the end of the day, this girl sneezed and came to life. Thank you, Lord. You shall keep me even now. So, on July of this year, she completed 15 years and she's moving to SS3. Every time I look at this daughter of mine, I used to thank God of the shoes. Even I will not have appetite to eat. I say, God, God of the shoes, who am I? Mm. That you are so mindful of me. Just praise the Lord. Shall we clap unto God and appreciate Him? <laughs> Thank you, Father. Um, my testimony, my main testimony that brought me here this morning, I'll make it very short. It happened that I used to hear general test, general test, general test. At times, I would tell my husband, Come and go for general test too, so that we know how far. Me too. Then it happened last month, ending of last year, last month. And I'm covered of those people that conducting from green life, whatever, whatever. I called them. I called the woman, come and conduct general test on me. Let me see how I'm doing because they say health is wealth. That's true. So the woman and came she said that the test is six thousand naira i said okay there's no problem she now started conducting she was like covering the thing from my view i was like i'm a shoes you know whatever it is god of choosing will kick it off that's because right because my body is the temple of the holy ghost so Amen. i don't need all this nyama nyama in my body so when she finished she just breathed down hmm, like this i said uh -uh, madam what is wrong he said hmm, that in fact all your body is full of stress that your brain the the blood vessel that used to be passing through the brain is no more passing there and you have cholesterol in your heart 
your stomach is uh, ulcer. She said many, many things. Insulin. She mentioned many, many sickness. I said, eh, me. I said, okay. <laughs> she said, no problem. That she's going to write out drugs. That everything will be fine. So she now wrote out the whole drug. She drug almost 500 and something thousand. Eh? I said, okay. I gave the woman check to cash the check in the bank to get those drugs for me. So after four days, she brought the whole drugs. At the second thought, I was like, you are about to enter a month of abundance of blessing. No, I don't need to play this period. I went to my house that very day. I was devastated. I was like, what is the meaning of all these things? I don't even know that I have ulcer. All I know is that I don't sleep well. At times I used to, my body don't used to, as in, I don't used to feel normal. I say maybe this Lagos and the stress, that when I was in Kanu, I don't used to feel all this stress then. So in my dream, that voice now said, why don't you focus in headquarters this period? I tell you, before the end of this month, all these things will be a story and a testimony. Amen. I said, okay, that the next day I woke up, it was a Tuesday, the first Tuesday of this very month. I quickly, I didn't go to market, I quickly rushed here. Sunday I'm here, Thursday I'm here, throughout this month. So on the second Sunday of this month, I was here too. So when I came back, I went to bed. In my dream, I saw a hand. That hand is straight up to me and opened my body like this. It just remove the front one, keep it aside. What I'm seeing in that dream is my intestine, how everything is fixed. Through my novel, I saw something like electric lights showing, going through my intestines, two places. They, they, they had, the, and I had a voice say, have you seen it? That you truly have ulcer, but you are not feeling it because you are a chosen. But now, now you have noticed it. Everything will be fine now. The next thing I saw that big hand move towards my, from my intestine down to everywhere, say, everything is fine now. Uh -huh. I carry it out of my body, put it back. Before I knew it, I woke up. I was shivering like this. I said, this God of choosing, you have done it again. That's you right. You have done it again. That's you right. You have done it again. That's right. So the next day, I went to market back because there's one particular medicine that is not in that company. The woman said that she's bringing it on Friday. So the next day, I, uh, the next day, the woman called me and said that she's uh, going for an interview or seminar. So at the end of the day, the Friday, she came back. She came to bring the remaining medicine. So and I called her when she gave me the medicine. I told her. Woman, you have to conduct this test again because God of choosing has done it. Mm -hmm. She now said, Why are you choosing? You people have come back. I said, You will see it clearly and now. It will happen now. Now, now, now. She said, No, that I had to finish taking all my medicine by no. ending of September. She will come and conduct the test and no. redo the test again. I said, No, you are doing it now, now, now. There is no time to waste time. Because I want to give testimony. So the woman said, okay, I give me 10, 6,000 naira for the test. I said, money is not the problem. Just do the test. We had to drag the test, drag the test. I told the woman, is it not me? Is it not me that will pay? At the end of the day, the woman now conducted the test. Good. When she put the thing in my hand and started scrolling the computer, the woman was shouting. She was shouting. She was, she said, everything is normal, 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 yeah. normal, normal, normal. The woman was shouting. She even stood up from where she was sitting. She was asking me, in fact, you are a me. What happened? What happened? She said, what happened to my drugs? Are you going to reform my drugs back? Are you going to take your money back? I said, don't worry. Just, there's no problem. 
I was so excited. I said, This God, in fact, I was even crying. I was even, I don't know, this God of fishing is too much. He's too he much. Really just came Shall we me. clap unto God and appreciate Him for that divine intervention? <laughs> only God can do this. God of choosing, and only you can do this. Hallelujah. Yes. Only God can do this. God of choosing, only you can do this. Hallelujah. Amen. Just praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is how God healed me. She said that my body is now like a newborn baby. There's nothing wrong with me again. Mm -hmm. Just praise the Lord. Shall we clap unto God of the chosen? I need to this testimony again sorry testimony interviewers i this testimony goes like this my daughter my first daughter who is in Babcock university she has been there she's entering the final year now she said mommy there is no choosing fellowship in our school they don't used to allow other churches only the Babcock church and all that and i told my daughter don't worry what take the way for you fellowship okay. so it happened that they were running she told me mommy i'm going to run for welfare director so that if i win this election i will introduce choosing fellowship yes in the school so since last last four weeks she has been campaigning and posting her pictures, her pictures were everywhere in the birthday. She completed 20 years that very Sunday. This uh, day for yesterday. Uh -huh. So that day I was here, I was sitting right there. She sent me a message. She said, she told me, Mommy, the election is going on now. In is e election is going on online mommy am i willing i said you are willing because you have a purpose you will be if i need a uh, backpack university you have not gotten a place for like choosing a uh, student fellowship that through you backpack university we know choosing very well yes so at the end of the election i when i went home that's what contact I told her, goodness, what happened? He said, Mommy, it's on Monday morning they will pronounce the result. So, lo and behold, she called me around after 11. She said, Mommy, I won, I won, I won. Amen. She's impressed a lot. Hallelujah. She said that she used more than 50 students to, to, to win the other candidates. So, she's now the director of. Welfare. welfare director of medical student of Babcock University. Jesus, hmm. praise the Lord. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. Jesus, praise Father. the Lord. Hallelujah. And another of my testimony is my son. She wrote promotional exam from stage four to stage six. So he made it. He passed his result. That um, from my seats now instead of from my five she was promoted to from my seats she's Pro impressed a lot that's double promotion yes sir shall we clap unto god and appreciate him thank you father I pray for my geo today that god that called him into this very ministry we lead him to the end of time in the name of jesus christ amen the power that is in him god has put we continue to increase day by day in the name of jesus christ amen i pray for our mommy she oh that she will fulfill her ministry more grace more power for more in the name of jesus christ amen and i pray for every one of us heaven at last amen and let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. 